Josef Korad, who was born on 3 December 1857 in Berdichev, was a Polish writer naturalized as English from a family belonging to the Polish landed gentry. His mother, already seriously ill, died of tuberculosis in 1857, while his father, a cultured man and patriot, died in 1867 after a period of political exile. Orphaned and entrusted to the care of his uncle, he continued his study in Krakow. When he turned 17, Korad left for Marseille and from there embarked on a long seafaring career, first in the French Navy and later in the British one. In 1886, he obtained British citizenship. After leaving the Navy, Konrad devoted himself entirely to his literary activity. His masterpieces include Lord Jim, Typhoon, Yaf, The Shadow Line and Heart of Darkness. The latter novel, whose inspiration came to Korad following a trip down the Congo River, formed the narrative and ideological basis for Francis Ford Coppola's film Apocalypse Now. The common thread running through these novels is the profound study of this unconscious, which, in some ways, seems to anticipate the stream of consciousness that only later authors, such as Virginia Woolf and James Joyce, would turn into a literary genre. Joseph Corrad died in London on 3 August 1924. Heart of Darkness was written by Corrad in two months, in 1898. The book is first and foremost a work about travel and the passion for discovering new places. It tells the story of young Marlowe as he descends into hell, into the heart of Black Africa, in search of the Missouri Skirts, an agent of ivory traders who brutally enslaved natives. The book, which is an extreme critique of 19th century colonialism, puts the protagonist in contact with evil, the heart of darkness, made grotesque at times by all those men who see incurs a sort of divinity. At the same time, however, Curse becomes the victim of loneliness itself, a victim of the madness of Western culture, which crumbles and destroys itself when it comes into contact with the different. As already mentioned, Heart of Darkness was the narrative and ideological inspiration for the masterpiece film Apocalypse Now, directed by Francis Ford Coppola and released in 1979. The film, which unlike Conrad's book, totally shifts the time frame of the story, is set during the Vietnam War and takes up the two characters of Marlowe in the film named as Captain Willard and Curse, with the foreman summoned by the US military army to Saigon, in order to track down and bring home the missing officer, now lost in his madness. In the same way as they were presented in the literary work, the stages of the journey are the same. On one side we have Africa and on the other end Cambodia. The places change but the narrative thread remains the same. Captain Williard's journey towards his destination is nothing more than a slow and profound descent into his own self. The atrocities that the protagonist observes with his own eyes along the way will give us a completely transformed person, aware of what evil, inherent in everyone, can unleash if left to emerge. The themes discussed in the work are imperialism, racism and human greed given by the thirst for power. These themes, however, go hand in hand with a deeper and deeper descent into the human soul, to the point of metaphorical contact with pure evil. Through the narrative device of the journey, Conrad emphasizes his criticism of the unbridled colonialism of the late 19th century and the absurd superiority of Western culture towards what was different. The author, also thanks to the figure of Kurtz, wants to show that the earth of darkness dealt with in the novel is none other than evil. That evil present in the souls of every person which is capable of transforming and changing a man. It is precisely 
here that the drama takes place when evil prevails over good and when this corrupts and pollutes something perfect. This clash of values is most fully shown in the novel, in a world where men do not seem to be models to be admired or imitated, where the actions of the protagonists are driven by violence and lies. The importance of the novel is revealed through a lucid analysis of how Western culture showed evil actions aimed at what they consider different and inferior, is revealed in all its evil and perverse, aimed solely and exclusively at a personal enrichment of only material value at the expense of human aspects. The reason that led me to choose this novel is its more topical significance than ever. The fear of what is different from us, the desire to overpower the weaker, the desires to get rich even at the expense of evil deeds, or the human soul capable of being overwhelmed by the darkest thoughts are themes that we still find in modern society. The difference between exporting civilization and exporting democracy, a very popular expression in recent years, is very subtle here. There is talk of dehumanization, there is a constant reference to them, understood as something different and distant from us. And if we reflect on this point, this term is still used today to refer to immigrants or illegal immigrants. The novel by the English writer comes like a punch in the stomach, confronting us, without too much ado, with the fall of the mask that had hidden Western culture until then. It shows us its brutality, its arrogance, its hatred and its wickedness. In conclusion, I can consider both Heart of Darkness and Apocalypse Now to be fundamental works in their fierce criticism of European society, which is itself represented by the figure of Commander Kurtz, presented as a perfect society but tainted by the most ferocious crimes to the detriment of apparently inferior populations and of how the human soul of a person, although pure and benevolent, can be enveloped by evil aimed at evil itself.